Hi, welcome back to another episode of Thinking Outside the Box on Noah's Ark. Today we're going to talk about David Gilmour's Seagull guitar sound, as heard on Pink Floyd's Echoes. So let's start by listening to that track, uh, the middle section of that track, where we can hear that seagull sound, along with other sound effects. So how did Gilmour come up with the sound? Well, the story says that it came from an accident where Gilmour's guitar technician plugged his wah-wah pedal in reverse and it started to produce that sound magically. Soon enough, David started to harness that sound and learn how to control it. But basically, you get the seagull sound by plugging the guitar into the out of the pedal and the in of the wah pedal to the amplifier. And you can control the seagull sound by moving the tone knob of your guitar and that changes the modulations of the amplitude and pitch of the seagull sound. However, this technique has limitation in our day and age because most wah pedals manufactured today are said to be in true bypass. And to create this effect, you need a buffered wah pedal, which was manufactured back in the days. If you plug a true bypass pedal in reverse, it just cuts the signal out and doesn't produce any sound. And unfortunately, my pedal is a true bypass, so I wasn't able to reproduce the sound. But I tried to plug other buffered pedals I have in reverse, and this is what happened. So that's it. I hope you liked this video on David Gilmore's Seagull guitar sound and let me know in the comment section below how you plugged the other pedals in reverse and what kind of sounds you came up with. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting other experiments like these. So I'll see you next time.